Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're chiming in from. I'm Dr. James Huang, and I'm an EMF and detox expert. And uh, yeah, just uh, letting you know, I'm I'm trained as a originally trained as a chiropractor, doctor of chiropractic. Um, been practicing for about ten plus years, um, but over the years, I've I've uh, branched out into more holistic ways of healing, um, and that's uh, whether it's nutrition uh, and uh, working with the brain. So I do a lot of um, neurology. Um, and over, over the years, I've created my own technique. It's known as the energy specific. Um, and so I just, I tell, um, I tell my patients that I work with the body as big as the, uh, as energy and as small as the cells. So, so I'm really, um, uh, into all forms of energy and everything that is energy would be, um, anything that's alive. So any animal, any creature, insect it, it all has energy and then also anything that holds energy in it whether it's a crystal or <clears throat> plants nature uh, light color sound that's all energy and then um and then there's also energy that comes from technology whether it's a cell phone or a light bulb um, computer etc and then there's the cells and so our bodies are made up of cells and so there's different cells that that, um, that, yeah, basically our body's made up of, you know, we have liver cells and we have lung cells and brain cells and, you know, so all those different cells and then on, and then how, what affects the cells. And so that's what I'm interested in too. So everything affects the cells and you can actually look at that um, and, and study cells and see how healthy you are. So, um, so again, I'm an EMF and detox expert um, I, there's a lot of um, electromagnetic frequencies that are affecting us these days. Um, so if you if you don't know what EMFs are, it stands for electromagnetic frequency, or uh, there's also EMR, electromagnetic radiation. <clears throat> so this is just the the field that's emitted from electronics, and there's a certain level that is safe, and there's a certain level that's not safe. Um, and I've been asked to share. Uh, five of my favorite tips or five lessons I've learned in my um, in my career and so um, so five concepts that I would want to share um, with you guys is one is number one concept would be like life itself is a miracle and so so what that means is all life is a miracle, like everything, like you look at the plants and the trees and everything that's alive and it's a miracle that those things are happening. And um, and so I don't believe um, that things happen randomly. I think that there's actually an order and there's a beauty um, to that order. Like if you look at, you know, all the trees and how they're formed and, and the order, like they're all placed a certain way. And also um, flowers and how, you know, how they're, they're perfectly shaped and you can look at you know the the little uh, petals and it's um it's a miracle that that the way they're they exist in the in the um and how much um organization there is in nature um, but going to the miracle of life i would say just my own life is a miracle that i'm here uh, mainly because of the history of when i was conceived um to when i was born so basically when i was conceived uh, a little background about my family is I have an older brother. My older brother, um, he's only a year and a half older than me, um, but he he was uh, very hyperactive. And some might say that he had ADD or ADHD and, um, and he was just running around like crazy and keeping my parents super busy, but he um, would open up all the cabinets in the house and dump all the contents out. And so it was really challenging for my parents. And I think at the time they were both working. So they would often find my my um, my, my older brother uh, like across the street or out of the house. Like he would just be um, hard to keep, um, hard to control. So, so with that, you know, when my mom was pregnant, she um, was thinking about having an abortion. And so I was, um, probably pretty high probability that I was going to be aborted 
but through uh, circumstances, my mom ended up having a conversation with the pastor's wife at the church we were attending. And by the grace of God, I was born on November 2nd, 1979. So, so I would say just my life, that was a miracle that I was born. And I don't know the statistics, but I know that every year there's a lot of babies that are aborted and a lot of other complications that happen that babies don't make it even though, um, you know, the, there's conception. Um, so, so that's, uh, and I wrote about this in a, in a book that's called Wake Up Miracles. Um, if you guys get a chance, you can pick up that book. It's pretty good. It, 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 it covers a lot of different healing stories, um, personal stories of other healers and their miracles that they've seen in their own lives and also in their patients. Um, so that's number one. Number two concept <clears throat> would be that um, everybody deserves to live with a higher quality of life. And so, so I believe um, that and, and that's what I do, um, whether it's quality of life um, in terms of the quality of food that you live, quality of life in terms of the air quality that you breathe, quality of life in terms of your freedoms, like activities that you get access to, um, the quality of life of your, of your health. I think that's, that's uh, number one. And so that's what I, I try to improve in my patients. Um, so whether, whether you come in um, very sick or you're a pretty healthy athlete, I believe that everyone deserves to have, to live with a higher quality of life. Um, and that's my goal with everybody in the clinic and and for myself you know i had um struggled a lot with sports injuries and so i've dislocated this shoulder i think three times this shoulder twice um i was on crutches twice from a really bad fall um snow these are all snowboard injuries mostly um i've had two concussions um but through I would say my health journey, I've connected with other practitioners and healers, and I've been able to uh, get my life back together and, and, and not deal with the, the, um, those, the pain that I had, because I had a lot of pain. Um, and thankfully, now I live with a higher quality of life, and so I don't have any issues right now, no chronic pain. Um, I used to get lots of headaches. I don't get those anymore. So, so it's pretty amazing that there is the, the ability for the body to heal and that there is um, um, this concept that we all deserve to, to live healthier and have a higher quality of life. So we don't have to um, um, accept that this is the way it's going to be. Because a lot of times you'll go to the doctor and they'll say, well, unfortunately, you know, that's just what you're, you're you you got to deal with this and this is, this is it, you know, and I don't, I don't um, like to hear negative things. So I have oftentimes patients that will go to the doctor and they'll say, oh, according to your MRI, you have degenerative disc disease and you're going to have arthritis for the rest of your life. And so I, to me, I'm like, no, there is always another way uh, we can change that or we can improve the body and the body can heal and now you can function and have a higher quality of life so um, so that would be number two concept and number three concept is that the body <clears throat> the body is like a car so um, so to make it pretty simple if you think about your car the car has physical parts right it's got the um, it's got the, the body, right? The actual, like the way it looks. It has the struts, the suspension is like the struts and the, um, the alignment of the car and the tires and all of that makes up the physical part. You know, you got also, you got the seats inside, but everything of that part is physical. So, so like um, our bodies are very similar. So we have uh, muscles, we got ligaments, joints, tissue, skin, fascia and bone that all makes up the physical part of our bodies. And then the, and then we also have um, the chemistry of the car. So that would be transmission, fluid, brake fluid, oil in the engine, 
even have wi uh, window wiper fluid. So all, all the different uh, chemistry is needed for the car to run. You know, if you don't have oil, then your engine's not gonna, it's gonna burn. If you don't have fuel uh, or gas, then you can't have energy for the car to run. So, so our bodies are similar. We have, um, we have fats, carbs, and proteins, and we have vitamins and minerals. So that's, those are the necessary components to make up um, a functional body is you really need the chemistry to be balanced. Uh, otherwise, you don't have energy or you don't have full function of your organs because they need the vital, um, um, they need the vitamins and minerals to function. And the third part is of the, of the car is the computer system. So your computer system is, um, is the most important actually. So that, that controls the whole car. So if you think about it, if you have a, a German car, usually the computer system controls everything from uh, the you know the power windows to the sensors on the tires tell you if there's low p tire pressure um, yeah pretty much everything the AC all is that controlled by the computer system so if you don't have a functional computer system your car's not going to even start sometimes so you can't even turn on your car um, so for us that's our brain <clears throat> so our brain controls every every organ in the body. It controls um, all your nerves and it controls your muscles. So it's really important that your brain is functional. But we have in, in our brain, we have different lobes. So we have the, we have the limbic system. Um, we have the motor cortex. So this, the, on, the, on the left and right hemispheres, we have the motor cortex that controls our, our muscles. And then we have the cerebellum, which is in the back here. And that controls our balance and coordination. Um, and then we have also, um, i trying to think of the other one. Well, we have all the cranial nerves. So the cranial nerves, there's 12 cranial nerves that control the, the, um, the main functions of the brain. That uh, controls your ability to see, your ability to smell, um, taste, okay? And here, those are all part of the cranial nerves. Uh, also swallowing and our vocal cords. Um, I'm trying to think of the other ones. Oh yeah, smiling. We have our ability to smile, make facial expressions, um, and we did hearing already. And, and then we also have taste, our ability to taste um, and control our tongue. So that's also cranial nerve and then our shoulders. So, that there's, so those are um, the cranial nerves that are also part of our brain. But the big one um, that's often overlooked is our limbic system, which controls our, our emotions and how we deal with trauma and behavior patterns. So, um, so yeah, so the body's like a car. So that means there can be physical parts that are out of balance, chemical parts that are out of balance, and mental parts that are out of balance. So in every visit, I would assess the body physically, chemically, and mentally, and then I balance it physically, chemically, and mentally on every visit. So that's, that's another big concept that the body's like a car. So you may go to a practitioner and they just do nutrition, like a functional medicine doctor um, or a naturopath. And so that's one part, you know, so you, you're missing the, the physical part, which might be aligning the body, working with joints, muscles, ligaments, tissue, skin, fascia, bone. Um, you might go to um, like a psychologist and then they're just going to work with the limbic system, uh, maybe help do some talk therapy, um, but you might have a, a digestive problem or you might have a sports injury and that sports injury is, is, keeping, is making you depressed because you can't enjoy sports that you, you, you love. So, so, um, so that concept is, a, is, is how I describe holistic care, because if your body is not balanced physically, chemically, or mentally, you can have all sorts of problems. Everything is connected. So, um, so I hope that um, makes sense. And, um, and now I'm gonna move on to another concept. So the body's like a car, but then the other concept that's even bigger, that's the more small cellular view is the body's like a car. So that means that there's physical chemical aspects that need work. But the bigger picture is that the, the body is electric. 
So, so I, I got more introduced to this idea um, in the last maybe five years. Um, and so, so what that means is that um, our bodies are, are, uh, are energy actually, are energetic. So, so we have electricity flowing all the time through our bodies. And so whenever you move a muscle, even these fingers, electrical uh, response, or there's electricity happening. And we can measure that. You can measure electricity uh, through voltage. And so you can connect little diodes onto the body and actually pick up how much energy is being produced. Um, and so I really love uh, this concept because now you can test things and you can actually bring science to a lot of ideas and, and see if things are increasing energy in the body or decreasing energy in the body. And so, um, and our bodies, if they are electric, they're also magnetic. So we have this, um, we also have a field of energy. And so the field of energy, um, so I've learned this over the years through um, uh, the morphogenic field technique. Um, it's just, it, it brings up concepts that just like the earth, the earth has a magnetic field, our bodies also have a field. And so this field of energy, um, it, it actually goes beyond our physical body. So we actually have this field that interacts with this environment. <clears throat> so if your field, um, I found that if the field is, if your field is uh, large, really large, then you're healthy. If your field is small, then you're not healthy. So there's something going on that's affecting your energy. And, and um, yeah, and so, uh, what I've learned over the years through my, uh, through just uh, experimentation is that the field can actually go anywhere from right off your body to a hundred feet. So you can interact with your environment a hundred feet from it. And also that's an expression of health. So when your field goes out past a hundred feet, you're, you're really healthy. You don't have any symptoms and um, yeah. And you're, you're just, you're just like flying. Um, and I find the patients that come in where they have a low field, so I would say low field is anywhere from here to three feet. Usually they have symptoms, um, low energy, fatigue, uh, weakness in the muscles, and chronic pain. And they usually, those patients will know that something's wrong. Um, but when I have patients that are anywhere from three to ten feet, they might have some pain or discomfort or some issues, but it's not bothering them to the extent that they feel like they need help. So they'll usually hold off and eventually maybe make an appointment. Um, but patients that are 10 and up, they don't, they feel great and they don't really have um, any major health issues. They might have some issues with energy levels, but overall um, no chronic pain and full function of their body. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, and I'm trying to think of anything else. Oh yeah, so so I I actually tested my body. Um, I have a patient, her name's Beverly Rubick, and she uh, has been studying energy medicine for a while, but she quantifies it. So she has studied um, the morphogenic field, the aura. Um, she has um, uh, a special lab that she can test to see how large that aura is. And she also does heart variability tests as well and live blood scans. So, so I actually um, last year got my blood tested, um, did a live blood scan, and overall I was very healthy, probably in the 90th percentile. And um, she was really impressed because I didn't have anything wrong with my cells. And so if you have never done a live blood scan, it's about a 40 minute test. And they look at your blood under a microscope um, for about 40 minutes and they watch it and the blood, the cells, if they're healthy, they're going to keep moving around and also um, they should stay nice and circle and maintain their, their shape through the whole 40 minutes. But if they're not healthy, for example, if you're a smoker or you have cancer, then those cells usually will die. I think it's called apoptosis, but they'll die um, within like a minute of looking un under the microscope, they start to explode. <clears throat> and there can be debris and they can look on, on their microscope for, um, for also um, 
any um, red and white blood cells, if there's an infection. Um, she can also determine if there's any heavy metal toxicity. So it's a really great test to determine your health is looking at your cells under a microscope. So, um, so I love that. Um, in addition, I also did a heart variability test and that tests if your body's in sympathetic or parasympathetic. Um, and also uh, the last test, um, and I tested really well for that. I was like, right in the center for sympathetic, uh, I mean, parasympathetic um, response. And the other test that was done was um, a heart, uh, no, a blood vessel integrity test, which she calls um, a biological age test. And so I tested very high on that as well. Um, I just turned 40 last year, so I'm 41 now. And during that time, um, I tested for my bio biological age to be eight years old. So, um, so she was really impressed with that because she hasn't seen that before. It's such a drastic shift from the actual age to, I mean, my age, yeah, my actual age to what was showing up on that test in terms of biological age. Um, so this is uh, what I mean by the body's uh, electric is that we can quantify things through, through um, testing electricity or energy. Um, and also, uh, let's see what else I want to say about that. Um, yeah. Oh yeah. The last thing is I do test the body through vials. And so I can, so I've been treating a lot of patients that have been, um, injured by an injection. So I'll just call it the shot or the jab. Um, and, and, um, and there can be different substances that enter the body. So what I have is a kit. I have this kit and I use that kit to test the body for heavy metals, for chemical toxins, um, any food sensitivities. So the kit that I use is from Morphogenic Field Technique. And so what it is, it's just like frequencies of energy. So if you think about microchips, they're programmed um, with information, but you can also program water. And so there is water programmed with frequencies um, like lead, mercury, iron, and also um, Bt toxin, uh, pesticides, etc. Different chemical chlorine, etc. So, so for my patients, I'll test to see what substances are showing up in their body or that they're sensitive to with this method. Um, so I call it frequency testing. So again, everything's energy. Everything has a frequency, and then through electricity or energy, you can test that and find specifically if there's an issue. Um, yeah, uh, and I think the last concept, oh yeah, the last concept is that miracles can happen and or they don't have to be difficult and that miracles can happen. So, so on every, every day in my clinic, I see, I see miracles happen. And what I mean by miracles are, are um, people that have tried everything under the sun um, and they just haven't had results and they haven't been able to to heal from their injury or their chronic condition, whether it's Lyme or Lyme disease or um, Candida, <clears throat> any kind of autoimmune disorder, they're just not doing, they're not getting better. And, um, and then what happens is they come in and we find the root issue, whether it's physical, chemical or mental imbalance, and they now heal and now they're symptom free and so I would call that a miracle. Okay, so I don't, I don't like raise anyone from the dead or um, snap my fingers and people just like get off the table and walk. So, so that would be a true miracle, which is what Jesus did. But I'm just talking about um, very um, huge drastic shifts in the body where they once couldn't do something and now they can. Okay, so... Um, yeah, and so I see that every every day in practice. Um, one one thing that I want to highlight is um, is the patients that have been um, dealing with chronic headaches. So I have I have a um, a story. One is a, a young girl. She's only nine, and she had chronic migraine headaches for two years straight, um, five days a week. So she, she was pretty much, the only way she would manage that was with um, medication. So she would take some pain painkillers um, and that would help a little bit. Um, but in the long run, we determined that she was very sensitive to electromagnetic frequencies. Um, and so EMS, um, any kind of 
radiation, which mostly comes from cell phones and iPads and wireless technology. And I was able to balance out her chemistry, also her nervous system. And, um, and the miracle was that, you know, six months later, she's now symptom free, hasn't had a headache. And she, she actually no longer um, has, yeah, she just has been symptom free ever since and just comes in for maintenance care. So, um, so I love sharing that story and, and that kind of will segue into now. I didn't, I don't know if I shared five concepts, but, um, I think the last concept I want to share is just, just stay, um, open-minded and curious. So always stay open-minded and curious so that that would be the last concept. Cause that's what really brought me into, um, working with the body holistically is I was always looking for answers, trying to find the solution, not being satisfied with just one way of thinking. So, um, so always keep an open mind, um, always keep learning and, um, and stay curious. And you don't always, um, and you can learn actually from every experience in every circumstance. So, so a lot of the learning that I've had is actually outside of my profession and um, I've learned many things from other practitioners, other mentors, and also just from life experience and my own healing. Okay, so that, again, the five concepts I went over, life is a miracle. Um, everyone deserves to live with a higher quality of life. The body is like a car. The body is electric. And miracles um, don't have to be... Uh, miracles, uh, yeah, can happen and they don't have to be difficult. Okay. So, um, so those are, oh, and the last one would be curiosity. Stay curious. Um, but now I'm going to segue into some tips, some health tips. Um, so there, there's a couple health tips, um, that I always like to give people in, and a lot of, I would say a lot of folks right now are worried about, um, toxins and worried about, um, electromagnetic frequencies and um and the new like cell phone towers that are getting put out and the the radiation that's in the environment so i'll give five tips um to kind of help with uh protecting yourself from toxicity and from radiation so this is what i'm going to talk about right now so so number one number one tip well, maybe I'll start with five. We'll start with five. So, so I would say it, in order to, to keep your body pretty healthy, number one, you want to drink clean water. So drink spring water. So that's what I would recommend. So, so, so try to avoid the, you know, a lot right now it's really popular is the sparkling flavored water, which is the LaCroix and all the other ones. And a lot of those are, are just, filtered tap water and, and and then they're adding in natural flavors which are GMOs so you don't want artificial things in your body so that's putting more toxins in your body just drinking that and then we don't even know what kind of water quality is coming from that it could be full, full of chlorine and fluoride we have no idea so I recommend spring water so spring water comes straight from the source there's very little uh, filtration that needs to go through and it still has its mineral um, content in there um, the brands that I recommend are Crystal Geyser and Mountain Valley Spring Water. Okay, so those are two um, that I recommend. You can have Pellegrino and there's Fiji, but I, I don't promote Fiji because it comes from the Southern Hemisphere unless you live in the Southern Hemisphere like, like Australia. Um, so drink spring water. Number two would be eat uh, good quality fats. So don't be afraid of fat. You want to eat a lot of fat. Um, people, a lot, a lot of um, my older patients, for whatever reason, are afraid of fat, so they don't eat any fat. They only eat like chicken breasts and vegetables. So, so our bodies need fat. Like I mentioned before, our body needs fats, carbs, and protein. So we need fat to function. Our brain is mostly fat. Um, so if we don't eat fat. Our brain's not going to do so well. So we and 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 there are good quality fats um, and a good resource to look up is Weston A Price. Uh, dot org. You can go to Weston A Price org and they have a lot of information about healthy fats. Um, but but a, a simple um, fat to put in your body would be um, 
olive oil and, and another fat you can put in your body is avocado. So, so I think it's very simple. You can have uh, avocado in the morning with a little olive oil and then put a little sea salt on top and just eat it as a little, as, a little, um, as breakfast or a snack. So eat more fat and, I, and other forms of fat can come from, um, from nuts like macadamia nuts, um, grass-fed meats, and also um, butter, like grass-fed butter. And there are dairy too. You can have good, good quality cheeses as well. Um, and coconut oil and coconut fats. Um, so, but to keep it really simple, um, olive oil and avocados are really clean and easy to eat and most people don't have any issues with those two. Um, and number three, if you're trying to protect yourself from electromagnetic frequencies, I would turn off your Bluetooth. Bluetooth is a specific frequency that's very difficult for the body to process and we're constantly being surrounded by Bluetooth these days because everyone's using AirPods, their phones already have Bluetooth on and there's Bluetooth speakers, there's Bluetooth in your car. Um, so, and then people are wearing their Apple watches and their Fitbits. So constantly being bombarded by Bluetooth. And it is not a very high radiation, but it's a very difficult one for our body to process. So, and we're constantly being stimulated by it. So often it leads to adrenal fatigue. And also it is rating our, our cells um, every 20 seconds or so we're getting a high, high radiation. So I would turn off your Bluetooth. Um, that's number one or number three. Um, so turn off your Bluetooth. And then number four, I would uh, recommend that you ground yourself. Okay, so what that means is going into nature. So get away from all technology, get away from the city, go into nature, go on a hike um, where there's no cell phone reception um, and try to find a lake or a stream or a body of water and just, you know, just play in it. Just go get dirty, um, swim, get connected to nature. Um, don't just go out, go to the park. The park is oftentimes man-made. So go to anything that God made, go into creation, go into the woods, um, somewhere that is so beautiful that you want to Instagram it basically. So go somewhere like that. Go, go to Tahoe or wherever you live. Um, and, and, uh, Oh, there's so many tips I can give, but, and if you're out in the lake, you could do a cold plunge. Cold plunge is also really um, good for the heart. It gets a lot of circulation flowing through the body. It also strengthens your, your immune system, strengthens your cells. Um, so that's, a, that's another uh, tip. Um, and I have so many more to give, but I'm gonna end it with this last tip. So the last tip is gonna be um, getting your mind, getting your mind to be sober-minded so that what that means is that there's no fear in your mind. So a lot of uh, people are dealing with fear these days. Um, there's a lot of fear that comes from the news. So fear frequency is really, really affecting everybody's um, health. Um, it get, and if people have any anxiety or fear and it definitely affects the kidneys and Chinese medicine. Um, so we don't wanna have any fear frequencies. So if you can find a way to remove that and that's often through hanging out with uh, either having more love. So being around people who are very loving and kind and gentle, um, less judgment. Um, and then also being around faith based individuals. So usually you find that through people who go to church or have some kind of belief system um, and believe that there's a higher power. Um, so I would, so I would seek that out. Um, and often find lots of uh, great information um, about that, about uh, faith over fear in, in the Bible. So, so if, if, you, if you guys read the Bible, there's a lot of good stuff in there. Um, pretty much uh, all of Proverbs and, and all of the New Testament is pretty amazing. Um, so I would uh, take a look at that if you, if you haven't. Um, but there are a lot of communities out there that also um, operate in, in a love and in a, in a faith-based way. So, so just, I would surround yourself with people that don't really watch the news and critically think for themselves and are sober-minded, meaning that they're not on any medication. Um, so I hope that helps. Um, 
I think I'll give you guys one exercise that you guys can do that'll be uh, great for your brain. Uh, but there's so much to share and I don't have that much time. So this is a, a simple one. So you can touch your nose here and your ear right over here. Okay, and then you're gonna come back down and touch your, your legs and then you're gonna switch. Okay, so this is a great brain exercise. It activates both the motor cortex, the cerebellum and left and, and um, your default mode network, which is your ability to focus and multitask. Okay, so I recommend doing 30 of these every morning. Okay, it's a nice morning routine. And you'll notice that if you have brain fog or, or uh, poor memory, it's going to improve just by doing this simple exercise. Okay, and then as you, as you get better, you can do it faster, but really work on precision. Okay, so this is what I would recommend everyone to do. So do about 30 of these every morning. Okay. So I'm going to just wrap up here. Um, we did, oh yeah, so again, number one. You want to drink spring water, so drink good, clean water source. You can get a Berkey filter, so there is a Berkey filter, there's other filters out there, but um, right now I just don't trust our water source, so if, if you try to filter really dirty water, it's still going to be a little dirty. So so it's best to just drink spring water, Crystal Geyser and, um, and uh, Mountain Valley. Number two, eat good quality fats, um, yeah. There's lots of them out there, olive oil, avocados, ghee, grass-fed butter, um, any, any meat, fats. Uh, number three is going to be uh, turn off your Bluetooth. Um, and, and you can also, I mean, turn off your phone, put on airplane mode, but Bluetooth seems to be the main, the big one these days. So I turn off your Bluetooth. Don't use AirPods, um, Fitbits. Um, any of those things and then uh, three would be to ground oh no that was three four four would be to ground yourself so you really want to go on to nature uh, really spend try to spend you know you think about how much time you spend for the computer you got to spend at least um, you know at least an hour in nature or more it's just just like try to unwind um, watch the sunset anything related to nature just get get that um, in your system so go go on a hike where there's no cell phone reception, go find a waterfall, um, all, all natural too. Try to, try to avoid the man-made parks. Um, and then lastly, have faith over fear. Okay. So, so we covered a lot, um, the concepts of, uh, life is a miracle. Um, and, um, everyone deserves to live with a higher quality of life. And then um, the body's like a car, the body's electric, and miracles can happen and they don't have to be difficult. So, um, so if you guys, so I hope this was helpful for you and I'm thankful, um, yeah, I'm grateful for being able to help people with their health and their bodies. If you guys need to find me, you can look me up on Instagram. I'm Dr. James Huang, uh, that's, uh, D-R-J-M-E-S-H-U-A-N-G. And then my link tree also is an easy way to find me. You can go to link tree and it's just Dr. James, D-R James. Um, and I practice in Walnut Creek, Oakland and Truckee, California. I do also offer remote sessions. So I've been treating people from all over the world. And um, I think that's it. So, um, so blessings to you, to all of you, and remember to operate um, in a place of uh, from a place of love and faith, and not of fear. And um, yeah, and I and I hope that you can all be sober minded and critically think, and always ask questions and stay curious. So. I'll end with a, ni a nice little breath in and breath out. So if everyone can just take a deep breath in and out with your mouth. Deep breath in and out. And one more. All 
right. Take care, guys, and be blessed.